Hello everybody, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 48 of the Contest Round podcast. If you don't know already, we can be found on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, and everywhere else, like YouTube. You, you know, you can find us there. Make sure you're following us in order to get those notifications. You know, I'll notify people on Twitter and various other places. And as well, Dan does through his channels as well. So go check out the podcast. If you're playing Arena right now or doing anything in-game, hope your grind is doing well. And as well, I must welcome my co-host, co-host of the Contest Run podcast, Mr. Dan of Frontline MCOC. Make sure to follow him on www.frontline.com mcc.home.blog bookmark on and as well on Twitter where the handle is at uh, Frontline MCOC is it? Is that correct? Yes. Yes it is. Links are in the description down below. Hey yeah. You alright? Hey Rich. How we doing? Doing alright. Doing alright. It's another week. Yeah. Another week. Uh, January's already been a long year. <laughs> it seems like but uh, mm-hmm. we, we are getting through it for sure. I feel like um We'll get into it. I, I, I've had a really good week in Realm. I've yeah. uh, gotten a lot done in contests, but not been rewarded with the, the crystals. And uh, in life, it just uh, things, uh, you know, seem to be plugging along here. Um, in, in the continuing Pokemon adventures with my son, <laughs> uh, we have just watched the complete season one of the animated series, uh, Pokemon the Animated Series. Uh, wow. Through the, the Pokemon TV app. Uh, we have that's our thing after dinner. We watch two every night. That is like our 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 bro time mm. uh, together. So his his hype level um, is extreme uh, when watching these episodes. <laughs> he usually can't keep his shirt on while watching the episodes because he just kind of tears it off and like waves it around like a like a towel. Like uh, I don't know if you ever seen like an American football like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like they give their fans towels and they like whip them around like to cheer on the team. So anytime there's a Pokemon battle, he just kind of like rips off his shirt and like twirls it around as Team Rocket's getting destroyed. So that's dedication. and then he's way then he's way too excited to go to bed because uh, he gets so hyped up on on the Pokemon. Uh, last night I put him to bed. He. He runs out of uh, his room an hour later, had not gone to sleep at all. I was like, dude, what are you doing up? And he goes, Papa, I am not at zero energy. I can't sleep. (laughs) I was like, like, you are a little gamer, dude. You're not at zero energy. Look at you. Go to bed. (laughs) I do not have that joy. I do not have that joy. (laughs) I tell you, uh, five is is a fun age because they're still... They they still kind of got the wonder and the innocence, but you can talk to them and do stuff with them, <laughs> and you don't have to clean up all of their poop. Yeah, well that that's yeah. that's good. I just which is major plus, major yeah. plus. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's get into what's going on in the uh, the world of, of Marvel games. Um, we are now in the back half of Jubilee's Arcade. Uh, what did you make for your uh, set to objective choice? I went shards again. I, I'm at a point where I'm just I'm interested in kind of broadening the roster and hopefully picking up some sneaky little. And I have to like think about what I'm doing here with with stuff. Like I'm tempted to do getting back into six star features, and seeing what I can get. But I don't know whether or not to say for the long haul and just like seeing what future champions are added to the game, as per my interest. But I decided to go. With that, what did you go with? Did you switch to rank in the end? I, I was I was thinking about it, but then looking at it, the, the this extra 2K uh, five uh, six star shards you can get if you do the math right and do the um, the epic objective. Uh, that that was just a little too tempting versus those five two percent T five CCs because I am trying to pull as many featured six stars as i can out of this Mm. pool Uh, it's going horribly for me uh i just (laughs) duped my uh i just duped my six star green goblin uh so uh that's that's two green goblins in a row from the featured six star uh crystal uh pool as i as i put in the the ccp chat i was like this this is this is hurting me it's like guys i i don't need cosmic ghost rider at this point like just let me dupe falcon can can we do something to move the ball forward i don't need i don't need the home run but i need i need something i can use 
Yeah. And and Green Goblin, like I don't even get the sense that they would buff him. No, which is the worst part, right? Like if it was if it was a uh, not that not that he's in there, but you know a Joe Fix It, a Superior Iron Man, someone like that that is truly at the bottom mm. of the heap. You'd be like, well, maybe there's a chance, but I ain't ever buffing Green Goblin. Uh, so yeah so that was you know it, and it's you know how it is when you're getting close and you're like all right i'm gonna i last night i was like all right i'm gonna run through the last quest of cavalier to get these shards i'm all excited gonna pull a crystal no <laughs> <laughs> no no hard no got the content done i did not did not get the uh did not get the reward for that but um yeah i mean i i think the thing that uh, I know a lot of people are confused about Jubilee's arcade. I, I, I think you know it, it's fine, but it is it is quite grindy uh, mm. in the back half because if you only did the ten runs like you were supposed to do in the first two weeks, that means you have to do twenty two in fourteen days, which uh, that's it, it can wear on you a little bit because it's the same fights every time. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for next week. I think I'm going to do a theme stream where I just grind out. Uh, the Jubilee side quest, because that's what I've got to do. That's my next process is to go grinding for uh, for stuff. Because yeah. I, I get those rewards. Yeah, yeah I'm going to make a decision to do some uh, Act Seven Point One over the weekend. Starting after we finish oh, the nice. podcast, uh, the, the podcast, I'm going to be um, then uh, going over to stream. I think for two hours, trying to 100 percent Seven Point One Point One, then try and bash out some more of Seven Point One Point two and then try and do a bit each day and then tuesday go and do stream the side event and then kind of try to aim just before the new event starts to 100 percent 7.1 which i did want to ideally do a lot more with uh with this month because i've been a bit kind of bored with um creating videos or making videos yep. and and writing and structuring videos uh, i've got like a whole plethora of stuff to to do Right the way from little things like uh, top 10 champions that deal with evade well, uh, updates to our guides, grind guides updated for 2021, which I was mm. meant to do last month for 2020, but I, I just ran out of time. We had so much new content. It was like, okay, well, um, for me, like a process is like, it's always the Friday before we get the new content. It's like, right, well, this is what's coming up with a side event. And then I think... Yep. With last month, there were I did three videos on in one day, just yes, solely you did. on, on <laughs> side of it, and I was just like, oh god. For me, I just yeah, don't, we knew, yeah, I, just I know. don't like repeating stuff. Right, I know, but it's it it's hard to not make that content when everyone's pinging you with all these questions. Mm. I mean, yeah, so, I absolutely, I, sure. I I get it. Um, as you know, you're running the Mutant Arcade, right? I am running the Mutant Arcade. Who, who, what's what's been your go-to team? Go-to team has been oh I like this. Is this is when we get technical down? I like this. Um, right, so Human Torch I've taken in to deal with the Mystics. Mm. Um, not for any particular reason. I just just kind of I like Human Torch. I like the rotations of building up incinerants and as well smashing off with uh, either I get lucky and I get uh, the opportunity for two pre-fights. Um, and then I can do a great amount of damage, and especially with um, Unstoppable Colossus, the rotation building up to an SP2. Yeah. All those Nova Flames smashing an SP2 get the continuous stun, and it's just a case of it's just it feels like a continuous slumber after the champion exited exits from there. Yeah. I've been using as well Archangel for a few fights just because he suppresses. Yes. I've been using him a lot because you oh, got those so Wolverines, good. and and he he is the fastest way to go. Oh yeah. For most of those fights, if. If if you can parry the opponent, if they bleed, and if they're uh, you can poison them, he is the fastest champ, nine times out of ten. I've also been using Warlock uh, for several fights. I yep. just I just love the interaction with with Warlock, um, but also and Warlock to deal with um, Iceman as well. Yes, Warlock for Iceman every time. Also, yep. with, when it comes to row counter, I know a lot of people have, have said like, "Oh, you need to do the trick where you go back to the far end and you kind of you wait, you, so your back's against the wall." Rogue does a heavy attack, you swipe back, and at the same time, you, you can uh, you can you can do the heavy attack counter thing, and, and I get it, that's fine. 
But if you've got champions that have heavy attacks that are um, non-delayed, they're kind of like they're quick to hit, like the Doom Slap. If you time it right, you can you're able to Doom Slap and get ages off. So yes. that that's that's how I'm doing it. It works with me. I've done it with Warlock, which is again a quick, snappy, heavy attack. It's like as soon as you click down, it's boom. Um, the same thing could be said by Magneto and several others, and it's just okay, just hit Rogue to to death. Who are you using for Rogue? Uh, I've been using Sentinel and Void uh, because oh, Sentinel you only have to do it uh, twice because uh, mm. it's two hit, uh, two hit, and Void. I think Void's three hits. Yeah. Uh, so again, only only twice. Those two uh, have been my main for um, for Rogue, and it's really just baiting the special one. As soon as she goes into the special one, you swipe back twice, hold heavy. It's it's easy. So, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it it's really for me. It's either I have a great run, and, yeah. or I have a terrible run, uh, and it's all based <laughs> off that nightcrawler fight. If if I yes. can't parry that nightcrawler and my archangel dies, then I feel like cause then I'm mad. One because I died, mm. and two because I know it's going to take ten minutes longer. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to run the lane now that Archangel's dead, because <laughs> sometimes that Nightcrawler does not want to get stunned. <laughs> no, no, he does not. <laughs> he is he is feisty. Yeah, and if you time it so slow that when you're doing the rotations of the heavy attack and there's like just a minute slither of mistake, yep. he mm -hmm. will go back. He will evade and he will clap you back. And, and he only needs like one combo and Archangel's dead. Yeah, and I have a I have a five sixty five archangel, so I you know I'm not I'm not slacking there on my my rank up on that guy. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean it's if if he hits you, you're in trouble. Mm. Oh <laughs> god, yeah. Um, we've got some changes this this week, or we're having we some do? changes to yes. alliance, alliance wars. To alliance war. Now this doesn't impact me so much because uh, my alliance, which which does run AQ map seven every day. Um, it does not run uh, war at a, at that level. We we run tier six war, and if we get mm -hmm. to tier five, we we boss rush. So we don't really have to deal with the tactics that much. But uh, I think you do. So how are you feeling about these changes to alliance war? Um, it does come at a bit of a, an odds, really. I, I've never really truly enjoyed alliance wars the link node side of things and that removal I, I don't know like i'll have to kind of like see it and kind of feel it to kind of go like is this a, a great improvement is this a yeah. fun improvement is this going to mean that there's i mean yes there's going to be less hold up um yeah. which I, I i do prefer you know pacing is very important especially for saving yeah. time just, just get it over with right just get it over with <laughs> uh because, yeah, it's like it's one bad round and you just go like, oh, I can't really be bothered with this anymore. Lose one death in the first seat, first kind of area, uh, first part of the map, and you're just like, oh, I do a bad. And not to, like, say that it's ridiculously hard where I'm kind of playing, but, you know, it's it's it comes frustrating on, on things like dropped inputs, connection issues, and stuff like that. That's that's where it becomes scuffy. But back right. to back to the topic. Tactic changes, link node changes. I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I kind of get like the the reason for changing it, and I, and I do feel that this will improve matters. It will just be how these new defense tactics really play in, and whether or not players are interested in actually using them. At right. the top, top end, I think people will be interested, like uh, masters, platinum ones, and such, like to the. Um, uh, competitive nature of alliance wars but i mean for me pff, is it gonna mean that i want to take in some champions that uh, defense defense wise my defense hasn't changed it's gone through the same defense i think it is are we coming into a year same defense oh, wow. different, different tactics same defense so right our play, not much variety there exactly so <laughs> i mean from my perspective it's not going to be a case we dramatically change things up and i don't know I'll, am i going to wait for my um alliance officer to say rich we're going to use some of your other champions because we're going to use more of the uh new defense tactics like um aw regenerator or damage over uh sorry an alliance was regenerator um as a defense tactic. we're going to use it we're going to use some of your champions 
Possibly. I've got 565 Namor. Um, I've got some of the champions on the list, ranging from Dark Hawk. Uh, Diablo is a six star. But I, I don't know. I, I really don't know if I can see anyone overly interested to take it up because you go, right, oh, they're doing Alliance Wars Regenerator. Oh, we'll, we'll use damage over time then. Um, yeah. And this is, I think, this is the big part. Do you think that Caban were trying to encourage more of the unusual champion usage, or are they just kind of kind of going like, we'll just have a little bit of a refresh, just to put in something new and take away certain tactics that players didn't like or don't like? Yeah, I I think the these strike me as sort of the the band aid fixes around just variety hmm. and and and. Want and making sure that things don't get too stale and boring. Uh, mm. So, I I think based on the updates that we've seen, and and you know, we have a good amount of of time since last May with the fallout and the roadmaps and and all that kind of stuff, we haven't seen this this seismic shift in in alliance war structure that you and I were sort of hoping about that would reinterest in us in the game it's yeah. more just like okay i mean it's still the same map it's still the same scoring still the same tiers uh just some slightly different defense tactics and and champion pools basically yeah <sighs> see that is the, that is the thing with it like i i will be positively looking forward to it to a degree but i'm not overly interested as i normally well i don't think i was i'm never really interested in alliance wars let's yeah. be completely frank with that about that but um i want to see i want the, the whole event kind of gone to be honest i like i i, I like the idea of alliance-based camaraderie i like the uh, mm. idea of alliance-based competition to a degree but um i, I just the more that it kind of evolved the less I was interested in it, and now it's kind of been, it's it's kind of started to be stripped back. I don't know if they're they're kind of going or preparing us for something down the line. I mean, this was meant we were meant to get like a was it meant to be like a new event or like a complete overhaul of Alliance Wars to a degree that it's going to be completely unrecognizable from what it is now. That's that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, <laughs> based on the on the roadmaps. I mean, as someone who's tapped out of competitive alliance war uh you know this does nothing to uh to get me excited or to get me to reevaluate that position especially because in the alliance i'm in i i get great rewards from alliance quest and because we're boss rushing one um one of the islands out of the three in uh in alliance war we're going to lose every tier five war which means we're fighting out all you know we're going for 100 percent for tier six mm. you know, we're a 50 million alliance so we're matching up with gold one alliances that have no real chance against our defense most of the time so <laughs> it's like why why would i risk iteming out in platinum three when i can get through a 12 war season in gold one um and maybe maybe spend a handful of items yeah. and items have not changed in cost right like that's it, it's not just the dying <laughs> in alliance war that is stressful it's the item cost and it's spending your glory on on things other than i don't know the the five percent t5 cc <laughs> oh that's very important yeah right like that's what i wanted to i i want to be uh reinvesting in my roster mm. not not spending on potions yeah and that's the same same for me like uh, um uh, we're looking at now there's no change in the glory cost for things like level four alliance health potions yeah and the, and, and the, the health pools just keep getting bigger that's it, a good point you start yeah. bringing what if you gotta heal up a rank three yeah <laughs> and that's gonna happen like that's, that's yeah that's gonna happen sometimes that's top that's top end problems yeah i mean it, yeah it is it is very first world pro, uh problem but it's it doesn't feel good. Mm. That's a good point. Uh, but it's been a week for for other stuff. So yes, you you've been productive. Yeah, kind of. Kind I of. I, I mean, I didn't I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy my time going back into abyss. No, you did. You didn't. 
No, nah, not at all. Just, just too too stressful. Yeah, it's a combination of things. Like I need to figure out what's going on wrong with um, uh, one of my devices. So I own an iPhone 11 Pro and an iPhone 7 Plus. On the iPhone 11 Pro, I get dropped input. So whenever, and this like will happen like uh, occasionally, but it's like it's a big problem when I'm playing stuff like uh, Abyss, and it kind of changes the way that I'll play. So at first, mm-hmm. I'll play quite. Um, intercepty and try to preserve my health pools when I go into fights. But having dropped inputs from a point of when I'm clicking down on, uh, for a for a block, and I've just instinctively and I've methodically gone through the motions of when I'm blocking, and mm-hmm. I'm still getting block penetration or those those taps down not engaging from time to time. I've played about yep. with sensitivity. I've gone through the... I've done the latest updates. I've cleared caches. I've removed a lot of space, uh, a lot of, um, like, photos and stuff from that device. To be honest, I don't very rarely put anything on there. But it's causing an issue to a point that I'm going to speak tomorrow, renegotiate my contract for my phone and find out if I can get an iPhone 12 Pro Max, although I hear that there's some issues with dropped inputs on that device. Yeah, I've heard heard some issues from... from some people in my alliance who have that phone and that's that's kind of puts me at an odds doesn't it because like yeah um i'm just where not... are you supposed to go if it's not the top of the line iphone yeah exactly <laughs> i know like what well, well do i get an ipad which i have considered and it's just the risk factor of going like well it's different differences now between me adding an extra 10 pounds a month to my current contract to get the most de- modern device or taking that risk and putting a bit more on to my contract mm. and getting an i an i uh, an iPad, so it's like it's 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 annoying really because I I want to be able to play the game in the most enjoyable fashion I can, but when yeah. I'm second guessing when I'm tapping on my phone, it's just causing frustrations. Like I don't get this problem with Marvel Realm of Champions, even though that's got its like its lag and its issues and stuff. I just don't get that level of issue from that game as opposed to mcoc more so uh when i play certain bits of content like dropped inputs have been i get occasionally get it in cavalier sometimes in uncollected a lot i got it in a in abyss of legends but i i I just i just don't know anyway to get long story short is did i enjoy myself no because then i got myself like i was like questioning myself all the time in the way i was playing i wasn't enjoying it but I want to get it done, and that's a problem. When when all that stuff comes to mind, and you're just like, "Look, I want a hundred percent this," but it might cost a little bit more than possible. Ah, uh, MCOC oh, life, yeah. Dan. The MCOC life. Now, which path did you run? I did path two. You did path two. So now you were. I think I maybe I have a different map, but I remember you fought Taskmaster and Modok. Yeah, and where where do you turn at the champion? Does do you go towards Cyclops or do you go towards Red Skull? You go towards um, so the champion fight. You go yes, you so you, sorry you do go left. You do go left. Um, yeah, to the ch- left to the champion. Is it left? Yeah, left to the champion, and then you go up from there, and then it takes you to the left. Yep. and it was all going fine ish i think the modok fight started to rock me and i I wasn't feeling very confident and i was getting annoyed then i've done the human i've done the um how the duck fight before and that was that was okay uh because i know the cycles usually what i do is when i've got a gone it'll either be a case that my ability accuracy reduction will uh, kick in or it won't and if it doesn't at the 60 percent and 30 percent um marks i will go into an sp3 which will put into mm. a stun which will suppress the the regeneration factor side of things that was good hyperion was fine i made one or two mistakes because i didn't get the cycle right with doom to suppress and as well as stagger uh the the power gaining and then after that i was kind of feeling a little bit good with myself the champion fight was done and i was feeling okay then the green goblin fight ass terrible um, okay, so you they could do that that Green Goblin Sinister Punisher twenty ninety nine uh, yeah. segment there, yeah. Oh, that just that 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 <laughs> that just that. Um, mm. 
then yeah that kind of like killed my confidence and i wasn't feeling too good and i just said like you know that's that's it i'm done, I'm done. and so what i did was i finished the rest off stream and it was a little bit better i don't know if like i i do have significant problems with how my internet works because i was finding less of those problems i experience off stream than i do on stream hmm. with the game it's kind of weird yeah. um and the same thing with realm actually i get more connection problems with realm whilst i stream as opposed to when i don't stream but then it's weird because it's using the upload as opposed to the download yeah very very it's very odd it's very odd but that uh, that was that was also your second path, right? Second path, yeah. And do you feel did the collector go better for you this time around? Um, or I about the same? I want to say no. Um, no. The only reason no is that I didn't have Heimdall on the team. So like when oh. when it kind of kicks kicks in towards the end, when it's just like it's it's just a case of. He goes unstoppable and stuff and, and that. It's mm -hmm. just nice to have that kind of like... It kind of like messes up the AI. Because if, if the AI has been intelligent enough to kind of like go, right, I'm unstoppable now. I'm going to go at you, player. Um, yep. It then it's then oh Christ they oh that right so they're unstoppable now and and they're in, they're indestructible for a they intercede and they're indestructible for a moment. It kind of makes them go a bit kind of batshit crazy. And yeah, I'm able to kind of like do a bit more damage than I would normally do. Also, uh, I'm, I'm because of the lack of units towards the end. I can't really afford the switch over to suicide masteries, which is kind of like um, a little bit of a red flag. And maybe I'll correct this better down the line, and maybe I'll be more receptive to put um, more on. Because I did change my masteries midway through to just uh, extend my limber time, so mm. I, uh, just because it just seemed to be more of a, an advisable thing when I was getting um, hit and stunned. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like there's a, there's a lot of things I would have done differently, but I, I do reach a point of stubbornness where I'm too stubborn to change part way through. Yeah, I mean, when, with this marathon content, you really have to monitor your own emotional level. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're streaming and everyone's got an opinion and, it's uh it could be a lot yes this so is i can i can certainly understand that yeah this i is wouldn't what... want to stream something like this no i will probably do path three and five i probably leave path four i don't there's 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 a this is one of the good things about doing it on on twitch uh as opposed to youtube is that there's the the chat doesn't go as fast and i could yeah I can get the advice from some of the other people that I have a, have a lot of time for. They've got a lot of time for me to a point they're they're just kind of saying, right? Like, um, you know, uh, shout out to uh, to Lawrence and shout out to Smoover and shout out to um, I can't remember who the other the other person was, but it's like I get I get the kind of the little serotonin and the kind of the little kind of like buzz that I, I kind of mm. feel that I'm not making a complete like ass of myself. Which is just like all these things going on, and like in my head, I'm like, okay, you're playing like shit, but what do you do? Are you just gonna give up now? Would you keep going? Or you know, it's just like, man, I'm getting so many dropped inputs. I'm 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 clicking down for this block, and it's not engaging. There's it's it's just becoming a bit too much, and maybe I've been yeah. one I can chew. Um, it's not like you're doing a fifty to three hundred thousand health pool takedown. Which I can do. Like I was one shotting Strife here, one shotting Jubilee and Cavalier. Um, I did some stuff with Act Seven Point One on stream, and it's like it's different. It's very different to that kind of content as opposed to that. Um, is it a case of like choking under pressure? Not no, because if you've come to if people have come to like my Marvel Realm streams, or Dan, you've been in it. We've been mm. doing some incredible things and incredible damage, and kind of like. Um, beating like some, some some known people, so that's it's a case like I there's certain games I'm I would say I'm better at, yeah, and don't kind of like get too much into the pressure side of things. I don't know how MSD did it on stage with like playing the way he did. Uh, he's he. 
he's all kinds that of kid, confidence. He he's all kinds of confidence, and it and it and it comes from just doing the homework and knowing it cold, mm. right? It's I I I I would liken it to you know a, a great actor or something like that where you if you've rehearsed this thing if you know that monologue cold you can you can go out there and nail it every time cuz it's you're not you're not thinking about it the muscle memory is there mm. and and that's that's MSD at you know beating the champion with She-Hulk right like yeah. he just he just knew that fight so so well that that's where the confidence comes from um it's it's like anything else. If if you put in your your ten thousand hours and you get your reps in, you're probably going to feel pretty good about your chances to execute even in a pressure filled situation. Yeah. Have you considered doing it, um, Abyss of Legends? Uh, you know, I um, I am now uh, as of as of today forty two crystals uh, deep for Aegon on the uh, the skill mutant dual class with no Aegon. Uh, so I certainly thought about it. I've read through how to run it with Colossus, which would be my best option. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm Thronebreaker now. Uh, I've got 7.1 to do, 100%. I've got all of Variant 6 to do. So I haven't run out of things to do yet. If I get to... Uh, if I get to the point where I have 100% 7.1... I have 100% variant six, and the next piece of content is not eminent. Then I'll take a hard look at it at that point because I am sitting on 16,000 units because Ooh. I didn't go super hard in gifting and um, I didn't spend anything on Cyber Weekend. So I, I clearly have the units to do it. Yeah. <laughs> even even if the Colossus run is terrible. Um, <laughs> But there's actually some great Reddit posts of walking you through every fight, and I do have the other, uh, the other team members to pull this off. Uh, it's it's just more uh, about there's other stuff to do, yeah. so I might as well invest my time in in the other permanent content that I do have the champions for, and maybe hope to pull Aegon along the way. Uh, because mm. I, I don't know if you watched Brian Grant's video about like doing doing abyss without Aegon and then with Aegon and how many potions it saved him like that is a serious consideration yeah i guess the same thing would be with uh with strife being such a potential abyss uh, uh yeah he's a, he's another one he's a, he's another one that uh i know legacy was uh streaming some strife in the abyss gameplay uh last couple nights and definitely a lot of potential with that guy yeah, I don't know if I would. I would I want to do that. Take it in. Yeah, I guess that's that's the thing. If I ever got him, that would be uh, somewhat of an interest. Will yeah. I be? I think I will do one more path of abyss. I think I, I what I'd love to do is one path of abyss per month. Mm -hmm. So that would be three more paths. So next month, so the February one, March and April. And then mm -hmm. that would be that hundred percented. I think that's probably for me more realistic because then I can hash out Act Seven Point One. I can then start getting into the arena grind to get more units, and then yep. kind of think about going back in again. Uh, yeah, going prepared, going stocked up. Yeah, and kind of that, that helps you too when you're not just burning through units from the jump. Mm. Uh, you feel a little better. Yeah, I think that's the thing of just trying to find a a, a good a good. T I'm not saying that was a problem with my team. I just decided that I wanted to take in. I took in Magneto instead of mm -hmm. uh, Heimdall because I just felt that would be of value. I don't know if that was a, that was a good decision. I don't know if it was a case uh, you can. I can put down so many different factors at the end of the day with it. But yeah, um, all I can really say is it's done, and then I've got to move on to the the next path and. And the next challenge, which will be 7.1. And then, I don't know when I'll go back to Act 6. That's the thing. I was thinking to myself about going back to it. Um, I think I I think I do Abyss with Colossus before I go back to Act 6. Yeah, Act 6. <laughs> At just, least an initial clear. Yeah. Act 6, I don't know. Like, there's less... I have less interest to refer... To, to return back to Act 6 than than ever. There's, there's nothing of, it, yeah. of enjoyment right there. 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like wait till you get a bunch of six stars and then just overpower it. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly so, it. You know, it's it's those rewards aren't really gonna change the game, and it's just so much work to 100. percent So yeah, it is. yeah, that's that's the thing. But you know, this month at least, I, I wanted to get more into the permanent content, uh, especially Act 7.1. Uh, but you can't slack on Cavalier and you can't slack on the side quest. There's only so many hours in the day. And, uh, we both been playing some realm, which is, which does eat into some of that time, but that's, we'll get to realm in a minute. Um, we have one division episode two. Oh yes. Don't touch that dial. Now where episode one was really setting the stage and was that, was that full on, sort of Dick Van Dyke show, I Love Lucy, Bewitched parody. Uh, things get a little more ominous in episode two, and we start to get some hints that um, there is a big bad out there for Wanda. Yeah, um, we've got the little... There's little bits here and there that are kind of alluding to the outside world wanting to yes. come in. Um, yeah, trying to contact her maybe. Yes, trying to, we we see that, oh, there's so many things. There's the the the, oh, on yeah. the radio. There's this kind of like need to contact Wanda, like the outside to say, can you read me, Wanda? Wanda, mm. um, trying to best they can to communicate. That that leads me to believe, which it, it sort of changed my opinion from episode one to episode two. In episode one, you might get the sense that Wanda has done this all to herself and in episode two you wonder well how much of it is her and how much is she maybe being manipulated in a way that she doesn't even understand yeah because like we we really don't we're still at a point where we don't know what's going on outside what is happening further outside with like the multiverse and stuff like yes. that. yes and um, and 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 the big question is like are some of these people she's meeting are 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 they just characters that she's made up or are some of them somehow have they infiltrated from the real world yeah yeah that's that's the thing there's a lot there's so much many things like at play um, right because in in episode two we we meet uh the geraldine character who's helping she's she's helping with the magic show hmm. played by uh, uh hopefully i pronounced this right tayona parish uh, but uh, that actress also plays uh, Monica Rambeau. Yes. Who's, who we know is, um, who was seen as a little girl in the Captain Marvel movie and has grown up and, and, and in Marvel Comics, she actually becomes uh, another character named Captain Marvel, uh, joins the Avengers and all, all that stuff. Um, so we don't know, is, is, is she undercover for S.W.O.R.D.? Is, is the actress playing two totally separate parts mm. does she have powers yet there's a lot of questions here yeah and we, we kind of we kind of feel that there's there's somewhat further things at play with a change of color yes at the end right got, as they move forward in the in the the sitcom timeline so to speak mm. we get the so, little sword helicopter the color one that lands mm, in the, the yeah bush. the red we also yep. get the color of blood when uh the woman uh, cuts herself um it's a funny episode as well because they bring together all that kind of uh the, the comedy with stuff like he uh um, yeah vision has a piece of chewing gum he ends yeah up and drunk vision i drunk mean vision. paul bettany paul bettany is having so much fun and i love it i mean yeah. when when that guy got cast in iron man to be the voice of of jarvis there's no way he could have imagined <laughs> the arc <laughs> that yeah. he was going to get put on and uh there's actually this this story where uh i guess he had been told uh, by some producer that you know, he was never going to work again in in hollywood and then he gets the call that he's been cast as vision in uh age of ultron and how everything changed for him after that and you know now we get to see him of course in in the vision makeup but also we get to see him is you know looking like his real self <laughs> which yeah. must, must be quite nice for him after all these years to just come on screen <laughs> as himself 
Yeah, I think you know? he said in an interview that it was um, now they've done the makeup in such a way where he doesn't have to kind of go like full makeup. Before it was the case they had to like literally put little bits of prosthesis and stuff, yes. and the stuff in there. Yeah. So now he just puts yeah. like a um, like a balaclava thing type on, and it's just then mm. then it's just like little touch up bits, and they do the dots and then the CGI stuff after that. So that's, right, that's cool. There you go. So yeah, so yeah, the, it, it was fun with sort of little little cartoon montages of the the gumming up the works and um, the whole the whole magic show, mm. um, you know, comedic bits. Um, but then after coming out of that, uh, we see a beekeeper crawling out of the sewer, and yeah. um, and and that's really sort of the the moment where the whole thing turns and, and Wanda just says one thing, no. Mm. And, and that's when everything changes. Right. And, uh, that's when we start to like, all right, how much does she know? And then of course we get the color transition. It looks like she's pregnant. Like, mm. uh, things are about to get real crazy in episode three. So yeah. I, 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 I know you were a little bit sort of iffy on the slow burn of, of episode one are are you feeling like we're uh shifting into a bit of a higher gear now i think so yeah i mean at the point recording this video i have seen episode three so I won't okay i have i have not we will we'll talk about that next week that's what yes. that's safe for um but yes based on uh two i i kind of ramp it up like the first episode i was a bit kind of like mm. episode two feels like it's added something to it so i can just i go like yeah, it's 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 a little bit it's a little bit better. We're ramping up on the discovering what's happening outside, understanding the dynamic of um, Wanda's interest in the world that she's fabricating, and right. the mystery that is continuing continue as a continuation uh, that's going to be through this series. So yeah, I'm invested, and we'll see how this pans out in f- future episodes. Very good. I'm looking forward to uh, watching episode three tonight and talking about it uh, next week. Excellent. So yeah, so let's move on to the uh, the the M Rock. Uh, we had a great stream mm-hmm. um, last Monday. Got a lot of work done. I, I had a really good uh, week overall in Realm. Felt like I was. Uh, you know, Realm's funny because sometimes you feel like you're getting bad matchmaking and your battle rating's not moving along. Uh, but this week, uh, made some big gains with my my Super Soldier, with my Web Warrior, with my Storm. Uh, I need to hit that last objective to get the Tier 2 basic so I can rank 4 my Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, so I'm excited about that. What about you, Rich? You, you making some progress? Yeah, I've... Um... Mainly with my source of... I want to make progress of other champions. I managed, <laughs> managed to bring like a few others up, but because yeah. I end up like falling into this kind of habit of trying to grow my source of Supreme. What is it on now? It's on 1,078. Ooh, so, that is, that's a big number. Yeah, I've been trying to literally push that one massively to... Uh, to is, she, is she rank four? She is... Um, uh, n- not rank four. She's rank rank three. Okay. Uh, because we won't be able to get the tier three. I don't know. Why, I don't think we can get tier three catalyst at the moment. Oh, you're right. Oh yeah. No, I I misspoke. Yeah, you need. I didn't. You have to scroll down. It's hidden. So all right, Thank I guess you I can't for rank, saying that because I, I made the same mistake. I was talking I to people like rank four. I I I'm wrong. I can't rank four my sorcerer supreme because we don't have tier three catalyst. That was. You have to scroll down. It's uh, that's a little bit of a hidden UI there. Um, mm. All right, all right. So uh, <laughs> I made the same I'm same mistake. I, guess I won't was... be doing that. I guess I'll be working on somebody else after I uh, three thirty my storm. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've got a lot of champions. It seems to be like as soon as I start making some element of gains, they end up like just falling back. So I've literally got right. everything. Like uh, my web warriors dropped down. I think I had some bad teams. Iron Legionnaire, I'm I'm probably going to make that my next uh, main champion to focus on. I did want to like say to myself, let's get Sorcerer Supreme to one thousand one hundred and fifty. So at least to say like I've picked myself up uh, one of the uh, crystals. I want to say it's it's there. I can get it. Uh, I could be wrong. Actually, let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, one thousand one hundred and fifty to get the um, the uh, 
crystal that could either give a rare or an epic. So that's what I want to get. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm saving at the moment units wise for 2,500 and going for the epic deal. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. Some people have said otherwise, like you should just sink in 25 crates worth of uh, Source of Supreme gear. And I'm like, oh, well, I've got too many champions that could benefit from having one or two uh, pieces of epic gear for them. And because the coverage would be... I'll have to check. I may make a bad decision and make a last-minute decision and decide to change my mind. I hope I yeah. don't. But <laughs> it's it's a case like looking at the um, where's the where the deals like, uh, yeah, just you get they got that Scarlet Witch deal out right now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, as much as I'd love to spend a bit of money, I've got to look. Yeah, yeah that just... one's at least a little tempting because it's the full the full outfit, and you know. You get the six pieces of gear, so you know a little bit more about what you're getting there. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. I'm going to go for this this epic bundle, but I'm going to have to get all my champions up to defender tier before opening Right, it. before you do it, because otherwise it's a crazy risk. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the trouble at the moment. It's just going back to mm. these champions, going, all right, we'll build them up. It's still a difficult decision to make, and I think if I do it once and kind of go, was this worth it? Um, it sees it's something. It just means it guarantees of, you know, after after opening twenty five crates, could I see myself getting at least one piece of epic gear? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, the more that I'm looking back at this, I'm kind of thinking that if I got a load of, load of gear to scrap, uh, here's Dan. This is crap. I'm over reading stuff now. <laughs> okay, so you, so when you open, you get one epic gear. You get one randomly drawn each with these rewards, but that's five pieces of gear total. But if I go to the crate side of things and go um, for Source of Supreme ones, there is... Uh, what do you get from it? You get four random draws. So that would be four times 25. That's 100 pieces of gear total. Uh, I could right. like, I could then scrap, and it puts me through uh, forward to the next... Um, the next milestone for scrapping god there's a lot of stuff that i could really uh, i don't know I, I probably will end up completely ducking out of it and going for <laughs> 25 or even like 22 source of supreme crates to try and get mm -hmm. the best gear possible for that champion yeah just sort of take the most uh the, the most lottery ticket uh scenario yeah yeah god i hear you I hear you. I don't know. I'm I'm not in a I'm not in a rush to go gear hunting right now. I'm more mm. focused on leveling up my champions and uh I want to get Storm to three thirty and then um I think I gotta get Hulk and Black Panther and Web Warrior to at least two twenty. Uh yeah. gonna go from there, gonna kinda move around, get everyone leveled up and um and that I think, uh, you know, then then maybe I'll start worrying about gear. Although I'm hopeful by that time, uh, Thor will be out and uh, give yeah. us someone new to chase. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, Super Soul just been around for a little while, but yeah, yeah. And I didn't get him till the last weekend of the event, so I, I, I haven't had as much time with him. Although I do already have him at three thirty because I, I do love him so much. Uh, he's a lot of fun to play. Uh, you know, it, I think what's unfortunate maybe is how quickly we we blew through that Red Dawn event. Like, I think you and I achieved every objective for that event during our two-hour or so stream. Mm. Which, you know, is good because you don't have to worry about getting it done. Uh, but now it's just kind of like, all right, like, what's the next thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, they've repeated it. It's come back again. Oh, has it? Yeah, they decided they decided to re roll. I don't, I don't get it. I'm confused. Like they decided to redo. Oh, you're right. Yes, yes, they did. Guess we could do some grinding at some point then. Yeah, yeah. All right. So actually, well, that's you know, I'm I'm okay with that because uh, it does have those raw celestial elements and the unrefined uh, celestial um, remnant that are really hard to come by. Yeah. So, yeah. what's the? It doesn't. Did they just replace it? Like, what's the? Oh, it's a week. Maybe it's a weekly reset. 
Okay. If it's a weekly reset, it's actually not... Um, then it's not too bad of an event, is it? Mm. Like, it's actually some some solid rewards there. At least from a guaranteed rank up. Because I, I, I have... I don't know about you. I'm so nervous to spend the celestial remnants. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's like I'm worried that I'm going to land a better piece of gear. Like I've got that one epic orb for my Sorcerer Supreme. And that one I'd be okay with. Yeah. Um, because, you know, that's feel like I'm going to get some value out of that one. But that one requires 13. Uh, and I've only got 10. <laughs> So, although I think, let me look at well, how many can I earn this week? I think we can get five from the event this week. Oh, yeah, we can get five. So that sucker is going up. Man, that's yeah. such an expensive rank up, though. It's it's 990 components and 13 celestial remnants. That's a lot of grinding. <laughs> that is. I'm, I'm at eight 817. For for uh, sorcerer supreme components, I'm gonna have to hit some uh, some death matches. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do yeah. that as well. Yeah, yeah, but at least it's like 80 per win, so it doesn't take too long. Mm. So yeah, I think we've kind of talked about who we're we're working on. I I gotta rank up that orb. I I gotta uh, max out my storm. Um, who are you, who are you working on again? You're you're trying to get away from sorcerer supreme. I will probably do more work on Sorcerer Supreme. The more I'm, I'm talking, the more that I'm kind of like now chatting myself into opening 20, like I'll probably do a 23 um, Sorcerer Supreme crates to try and get an epic piece of gear. And if I don't get one piece of epic gear for Sorcerer Supreme, or maybe even more than five, mm -hmm. I'll be pissed off. Yeah. I'll be really really pissed off because i was like i'm going for this this is what yeah. i'm going for um because it's all the thing is it's all a, it's all a lottery as well so i don't know what i pick up but um sorcerer right. supreme is the champion i want to focus on uh apart from that it will be iron legionnaire i just find it's uh enjoyable but i need to build up champions again i just keep falling back and i need to be making yeah. gains yeah i mean it's uh, as we've talked about before if you you get in with a good crew and the matchmaking seems to be working. Uh, you could you can make some significant gains. You can have a, a run, but sometimes you get you get in and uh, you just feel like you're stuck in neutral. Yeah. And you play for an hour and you're like, all right, I'm back where I started, <laughs> and that's not a great feeling. No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. So that's I mean that's kind of why I've been focusing on like level up because like at least I feel like all right, well I'm gaining some power at some point like. I should be overpowered for my battle rating and I'll be able to leapfrog ahead. Mm. At least in theory. That's my theory. We'll see. That's we'll see I'm if that's true. true. Yeah. yeah. Right. That has uh, been the podcast. Uh, Dan, what are you up to next week apart from the grind with MROC? Yeah. So uh, in MCOC content, um, you know, working through Act 4 on the on the free to play, hopefully a little act seven on the main, uh, working on a dark Hawk guide. Nice. So I'm going to try to get that out. Um, end of next weekend. Um, and of course by that time, we'll probably know a lot more about what's happening in February. So, uh, that will also eat up a lot of my, uh, my writing time. But, mm. uh, as always, you know, we move on to the next exciting thing. Yeah, uh, I think for me, it's just, uh, I'm just going to relax because I've, I've gone back to a one video a day schedule uh, just because like, um, I just came after the Christmas time, like rush, I was just, just burnt out. So I just kind of, just kind of went, look, let's reduce down the schedule, focus on me and then uh, February time hit back in with content. But we've probably got a big news dump of stuff next Friday, I want to say. Usually I, how I would imagine, right, because the new, the, the February events will go live on February 3rd. Yeah. So if holding to schedule either either um, January 29th, that Friday, as you said, or at the latest, um, Monday, uh, February 1st, we'll, we'll probably have a big news dump. Although, mm -hmm. based on their schedule, we're, we're usually seeing the game update come on that Monday or Tuesday. 
Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we'll know some some more stuff by the uh, by the next podcast. So we'll probably yeah. be dissecting some of the February news. Yeah. At that point. Absolutely. Everyone, look out for that. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Make sure to catch us on the various platforms. As said earlier, we're available on uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, and iTunes podcasts. And Dan's, you can find Dan at www.frontlinemcdoup.home.blog and as well on Twitter. Links are in the description for us both. And we'll see you next week for episode 49. Bye-bye.